welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. So for today's tutorial, I wanted to do a little Halloween look. I wanted it to be really free-spirited, really artistic, really colorful, really fun. So I wanted to do this skull makeup look. I really hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you'd like to see how to get this look, don't forget to subscribe down below and keep on watching. everyone so to get started today i just wanted to show you that i did use my lancome foundation as well as the laura mercier translucent setting powder so that i can have a nice even base then going into the first palette we're going to be using this is the celestial thunder palette by dominique cosmetics i'm going into the shade lunar eclipse and i'm applying that all over using circular motion onto my face for the majority of the video i'm going to be taking lots of different eyeshadow colors and just applying it same as you see here just blending it out in different areas of my face that way i can have nice contrast all over i'm then going into the shade mystic ice this is a really really beautiful blue shade and I'm applying that to my temple and blending that out as well adding some more of the blue shade i'm applying that to my cheek as well and just blending that out then i'm going into the same palette and taking the shade lucid dream this is a beautiful vibrant pink shade i'm applying that to my cheeks and blending that upward onto the blue color and i'm trying to really apply all the shades and then i'm going to work on blending them all together so that it looks nice and seamless i'm also applying some of that pink shade onto my cheek and blending that out as well and then also dragging it towards my ear so that i can have color all throughout my face and to add even more color, I'm taking the Nubian 2 by Julia's Place Palette. And I'm taking the color Egypt and I'm applying this all over my brow bone. I think that this is a really, really pretty color. It really is vibrant and I love the shimmer in it. Then I'm taking some of the Nairobi color. This is a really, really beautiful gold shimmery color. It really has nice impact and it really stands out. So I really wanted to apply this to certain areas throughout my face and really just blend that towards the other colors as well. Then going into the Jezebel color, this is a beautiful purple plum shade. I'm applying this onto my nose, underneath my eye, and then dragging it upward onto my brow. And then to kind of make this color stand out and really blend it with the others, I went into the color Layla. This is a really beautiful, even deeper plum shade. It has really nice pigment in it and really nice shimmer. And I wanted this to kind of create that really nice dimension and kind of depth that I was looking for and uniformity. Then I took the shade Cleopatra. It's really beautiful and it had a different deeper shade of blue. So I thought I would contrast the other shade of blue, the Mystic Ice in the Dominique Cosmetics palette a lot. Now to be able to outline and define the skull features, I'm taking this L'Oreal Eyeliner Pencil. It's a nice thick pencil so I really like it for this. And I'm using this to kind of create the lines and structure all around the face. I'm just kind of freehanding this and also looking at an image that way I can have some direction as to where I should place everything. So I'm just kind of looking at it and being a little bit more artistic with it and outlining the nose, the eyes, as well as where the cheekbones and the teeth would be placed. Moving on to the lips, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. This is in the shade Whichever Coral. And I'm applying that to line my lips and really just bring out some more pinks in this look. Then grabbing two of my Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks in the shade Bauhaus 5 and also Backstage Bambi. I'm first taking the deeper shade, which is Bauhaus 5, and I'm applying that to the outer edge that way I can really deepen up that color. And then I'm taking the Backstage Bambi and applying that right in the center to kind of give that more pop of a shade. And then I'm blending that out using my fingertip and I'm just making sure that everything looks nice and blended. Then going back into the eyes and to make this look really come together, I'm taking the shade Black Matter by Dominique Cosmetics and I'm applying that all over my eye in addition to the L'Oreal eyeliner. That way I can really deepen up and make this look really come together. Going back into the color Zero Gravity as well in Dominique Cosmetics, I'm taking this and I'm applying it all into the areas where I want to add some shading and some more dimension. Then to make the eyes pop even more, I'm taking the closest Big Clean Mascara and applying a coat to my lashes. And then going in with the NYX Liquid Eyeliner, I'm taking this and I'm using this to create that really nice pop on the black lines and really create like that veining kind of cracked effect. I'm applying this all over where I had applied the black eyeliner previously and really just adding a lot of dimension and again lots of cracks. And I'm doing that by letting the pen kind of swirl and be very squiggly with the lines and that will give you the effect of kind of cracked skin and it looks really really cool I think. 
Now moving on to the teeth, I'm using that same eyeliner and I'm applying that all over my lips and creating the initial shape for the teeth. I kind of want it to be kind of like a V type of shape on the bottom and kind of creating that nice illusion over top. I added some of the eyeliner also to the inner part of my lip, that way you can create that nice kind of deeper, more kind of like deadly look. And then I also extended some of the lipstick, that way the teeth look like they're elongated and a lot more dramatic. Then I just went over to do some final touches with the eyeliner once again and just added some more veining and some more kind of cracks all throughout the face and just, just added a lot more dimension and made it just really come to life. And last but not least, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I'm taking the shades that are pink and the white shade and I'm adding some splatter with the toothbrush all over my face. I thought that this would really give it a nice extra touch and I think that it was just the finishing touch to really just top the look off. Then whatever was left on the toothbrush, I added to my lashes to get this nice kind of pink shade on them. And this is the final result. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I really hope that it inspires you to create and just have fun with makeup as it should be. So this is the final result. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. It was a bit more artistic and kind of freehand and just, you know, just kind of do what you feel is right for you and kind of just be very creative with it. Have fun with it. I feel like that's what's fun about Halloween makeup is that you can just make every look your very own. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe down below. And until next time, remember to always create a life that you love.